Shalom and welcome to all my brothers and sisters. I want to show you how to debunk the debunkers. Now before I make this video, I want to tell anyone who's watching who might be atheist or agnostic, this video is in no way an attack on you specifically or to disrespect you because there are a lot of atheists and agnostics who are very peaceful, very kind people and good people. So, um, and again, I'm not the judge. I'm just a human being, just like everyone else. But I'm just answering those who are very, very aggressive in attacking the Torah specifically. I'm going to show you how to debunk these um, accusations and these attacks where they're trying to debunk the Torah. I'm going to show you how easy it is to debunk them. One in particular that comes up a lot is Noah's Ark, over and over again. Noah's Ark is debunked. Why? Because they say, because other cultures talk about the worldwide flood. A culture over here and a culture over there. Bye-bye, Noah's Ark. Throw your Torah in the toilet. That's what they say, right? And I say, hold it, hold it one second here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You think that debunks the flood? That proves the flood. Why do I say that? Think about it. If the Torah is speaking about a worldwide flood, which it was, so you mean to tell me, I mean, I'm talking to the atheists who attack these stories and actually think they have credibility in attacking them. So you're telling me that no one on earth, no culture on earth, except for those who wrote the Torah, would talk about a worldwide flood? That's an answer? Of course other cultures would talk about a flood, a worldwide flood. Of course they would. It's a worldwide flood. Therefore, other cultures would speak about it, and they do. This does not debunk anything. We have the real Ark of Noah in the mountains of Ararat in Turkey, right there where God said it landed in the mountains of Ararat. And there are a lot of people that go, no, that's not really Noah's Ark. But yet, if we didn't have a location, they would say, well, where's your proof of Noah's Ark? Where is Noah's Ark, right? If it wasn't there, they'd say, well, where is it? We tell you it's right there. Oh, no, that's not the Ark. Give me a break. Oh, there's no evidence of you guys ever being in Egypt. Oh, yes, there is. You know, there's no mention of you in Egypt. Oh, yes, there is. It's funny, you guys always choose the evidence that's not the location of where our ancestors were. It's very easy to look at the wide variety of Egyptian art and say, I don't see you anywhere. That's because you didn't look at the other location. You're in Hawaii. The evidence of us is in Honolulu. But yet you're going to say there's no evidence. Mount Sinai. They say, oh, the Mount Sinai, come on. Mount Sinai never happened. And yet we have the location in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, the real Mount Sinai location, fenced off by the Saudi Arabian government. Surprise! Oh, that's not really Mount Sinai. Oh, really? There's no evidence you were ever there. Oh, really? The evidence is there. You just refuse to acknowledge it. Oh, Moses never parted the Red Sea. Where's the proof that he parted the Red Sea? Well, we have actual video footage of them swimming under the Sea of Reeds and filming under the sea... We see chariot wheels of Egyptians. We see horse remnants, human remains. We've got the evidence. Sodom and Gomorrah, a real location. You can go there for yourselves. On and on and on. We have no fear of the atheist attacks because God left the evidence. I have no fear to stand up to these atheist giants who try to spit on our Torah and say there is no evidence. Now, you and me, we might say, well, who cares, right? As long as we believe and, you know. No, I'm going to acknowledge I stand up to those atheists. And I say, no, 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 bring it. You're not going to stand up and lie that there is no evidence because I will correct you. I'm going to educate you. Don't know what you're talking about. And if you're going to deny the evidence, the plain, clear evidence, then that's your problem, not mine. I mean, if you really want to go there, right? We're, they, I mean, I've gotten so many uh, hateful emails from attack. Remember, not all atheists, because there's many atheists that don't do this. But many atheists just email me and say, you know, you, you're, you know, they use words like, you're retarded. You believe in some magical man in the sky, you know? And I never disrespect them and attack them back. But I, you know, what I really want to say 
is, well, you think it's so ridiculous that we believe in a God that created all things when you believe that everything started from a fart in outer space. And they get real mad when you say that kind of stuff. But hey, you know, they could dish it out, but they can't take it. The fact of the matter is, they always say, man-made religion. You're in a man-made religion, right? Judaism is a man-made religion. I always ask them the same question. Never get a response. A man-made religion. What man? What man? There is no man who made up Judaism. Do you get it? It was a national revelation. Approximately three million people hearing God say, Hello, I'm God. Nice to meet you. Three million people. Over and over in the Torah, it says, And Moses took the nation to meet God. And they all placed themselves below the mountain. God says in the Torah, I will talk to you so that all the people will hear as I speak to you. And then they will believe in you forever. It was a national event. Everybody heard God speak. It wasn't just Moses. Again, I ask, who invented Judaism? That's all I hear. Man-made religion. You're man-made religion. You're all like all the rest. No, we're not. That's what separates us. See, what happens is they want to assume that they can just stomp on Judaism and laugh at it and attack it like they attack every other religion. It just doesn't work. Because Judaism is not a faith. It's a reality. It's reality. So when people say, you're in a man-made religion, I say, no, this is not a religion. It's a reality. And that's what you should say. It's not a religion. It's a reality. Shalom, everyone.